Yeah. Uh, so, you know, since all the rigs have come back, and it's really nice to have all three rigs back uh, drilling at Tamarack, um, we have been drilling away, and we have the first two results from the step up program. Um, so, of the two holes, both have hit, um, and these are both step outs from the known mineralization. Uh, and then we do have assay results from 565, uh, which we've been waiting for. Um, so, the first step out is 563B. So this is about a 15 meter step out from 563. Uh, the mineralization does extend uh, and we hit about eight meters of uh, seven and a half meters of massa sulfide. This is the really nice looking massa sulfide. So I'd expect it to be very similar to what 563 was. The second intercept was hole 566. This was targeting that two, 250 area, the, the initial discovery that got us into this area. Um, that was about a 17 meter step out to the south targeting a borholium plate. And we connected there with about just over five meters of massive and mixed massive sulfides. Uh, so that was a really good step up. We've ran borholium down that hole. There's a clear anomaly to the west. Uh, so we're gonna follow up on that next. And then um, lastly, the assays for 565, um, waited a, a, a bit for these, but got them. And uh, I think they're, they're pretty good. You need to remember that this wasn't massive sulfide, this was mixed massive sulfide. So you have a lot of sediment dilution in there, but the grays are still pretty good. The tenors are excellent. Um, so we're looking at about 19 meters um, of six and a half percent nickel equivalent or about 11 and a half percent copper equivalent. Um, this sits above everything else, so it's much higher. Um, so looking forward to, to doing more work in, in that area with follow up holes. And then the last thing that I would throw out there is, and I think this is for me, my point of view, this is the most exciting part about the press release is at the bottom of 566, we found some massive sulfide veinlets. And at Tamarack, those are kind of your smoking gun uh, for you're, you're getting close to something. Um, the nearest massive sulfide that we have is about 100 meters away from that. So it's unlikely that it's coming from, from that. Um, so we're going to focus Borholium over the next week in this area, see if we can identify where those veinlets are coming from, uh, and then follow up that area with some additional drilling and see if we can continue finding those massive sulfide pools extending at depth.